Hey guys, and welcome back to The Ring. When we last left off, we tried to blow that door off with a grenade launcher, but apparently we're not allowed. So let's go back and find that soldier. The one that really wanted the grenade launcher. But we only have four rounds for it, which, let's be fair, that's not a lot. I guess we're going to get some more for it? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go link up with this brigade member before we can think about anything else. Really. We've got loads of batteries as well, so we might as well use them. And like I say, you know, um, I'm guessing we're close to the end of the game because I said this, uh, the printout that I've got is actually nine pages. And if we look at the ninth page... Only half of the ninth page is guide, so... Ugh, question mark? I don't know. I haven't really been looking at it, to be honest. It does, like, a lot of it doesn't really make too much sense anyway. Right. Oh, there we go. You're late! Did you get them? Yes, I brought them. You're a lifesaver. Now, use it to blow away the enemies inside. Uh, huh? I'm doing it? Of course. You're inside this... They're inside this room. How am I supposed to do it? <laughs> with the grenade launcher, Meg. What do you mean, how? Hit the guy in the room with a grenade. But don't miss. That's the last grenade. Uh, well... Don't make it sound so easy. I'm not saying it's easy. But if you don't do it, you're going to die. Just give up and shoot. Give up? What do you think this is? Alright, right, fine. I'll do it. Even if it gets me, it's not that I'm going to die. What are you saying? I have no idea what he's saying. Anyway, I'm trusting you, and don't forget to load the grenades. Um, wait. I know, I'll do it. I'm counting on you. Oh, it, uh, uh? It's got a grenade in it. The counter says one. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, okay. Do we have to load extra grenades into it? Uh, reload. No, it's already got a grenade in there. There's already one in the pipe, dude. So, okay. I'm trying to aim at you. But you're just like stun locking me. Oh god. How many grenades? Three? I really did it. Really? This is no joke. Looks like it's over. Wait, that was just... Who, that was just... A normal monster, though. You saved us. Yep, yeah, but it was... It, 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 from, from a monster that was safely contained in a room. Looks like it's over. You've got to be kidding. What were you doing? Don't get so mad. I was battling it out with the guys outside. What guys? The guys outside? Oh well, this is okay, right? Yeah, you saved us. I'll take care of the rest of them. If you're done, help the guys on the other upper floors. Upper floors? There's something up there. Yeah, there seems to be quite a number of enemies and they're having trouble. Take a breather, then go for help. You really know how to use people. Alright. Sorry, I have to ask, but we're counting on you. Well, that was a load of guff. Well, we've got one grenade left. Which, I... Hopefully... What the fuck is that? Well, whatever it is, we can't search it. Uh, right, we need healing. We took a lot of damage from that thing, and we have one grenade left. But, let's reload this puppy. And equip this puppy. That thing sucked. That hurt. So, red ones are bad, I guess. But why was there so much emphasis on that one enemy? Ah, uh, okay. But... 
hey, look, whatever, man. Let's just have a look around, shall we, whilst we're here. I might find some goodies. As if any of these doors even open, mind you. Okay, let's start looking. Let's start opening some doors. Oh yeah, something's around. Level four. Oh no, it doesn't open. No light switch here either. Oh, that doesn't open either. Cool story game. Oh, okay. Got one little gribbler around the corner. Can we like aim at the gribbler? I think we are actually. Let's use the handgun. No point wasting anything too uh, precious on this thing. We are on bad health though. Which is uh, bad. Okay. Maybe we're not actually aiming at the gribbler. Nope. Now we're aiming at the gribbler. But of course the gribbler gets a free hit. Because that's the way the enemies roll in this game. <sighs> Danger. Now we're really in the shit. Okay, let's take our rifle for a walk. Oh shit, there's one behind us now. Uh can... Oof, Jesus. That thing looks like he's got a pig for a head. Isolation's open by the look of things. We really Oh, I was gonna say we really can't get hit. But they just throw an enemy right at our faces. That's fine. Um, cool game. Hope you don't throw any more enemies right into our face. Oh no. Uh, can hear enemies. We could really use a health kit right now. Ah, uh, what is this? Just maze of doors. Oh god. I have no idea if I'm even hitting that thing. I'm gonna say we're probably not. There we go. Which was quite a waste of ammo. <sighs> Anything at all? No? Is there like any reason whatsoever to come in here? Uh, yeah, it's not actually that useful. Yep. Nothing. Just some handgun bullets. All of this for some handgun bullets. You know what I would have preferred, game? I th think I would have preferred a health kit. But uh, hey, you know, we don't. Oh god. Guess we don't get to make the rules. And there's nothing in the shitter apart from an enemy. Really? No health kits. And this is all that's in isolation? Are you sure? <sighs> I guess so. Well, it looks like we've got another isolation room that looks fairly similar. So tempted to put a save state down. So tempted, but I won't. In all fairness, we haven't really accomplished that much. Come on, shoot him, please. Thank you. Any more? Definitely sounds like there's more. Yeah, there's definitely more. I have no idea where. Oh, 
Oh, this is rough. This is really rough. Well, I have nothing in this shitter, at least. Okay. If only we had a grenade to, like, throw over. Oh. Oh, right. I actually think... Yeah, we can't actually hit him, but he's through the... Through the wall. I mean... Sure, why not, right? Where else would he be? Okay. Please have some health in the drawer. No. no. Why would we want health? Why would we... Why would you give us anything at all that's useful, game? That is... Motherfucker with like a ram for a head. Got horns. What are these enemies? Seriously, guys. Come on. Why are you even trying? Okay. Oof. Last magazine for this thing. Really get the feeling that uh, things are going to go south for us fairly soon. Let. Let's take our handgun back out. Have you noticed that we really didn't get a lot of uh, shotgun shells? Have you noticed that? I've noticed that. Now we know there's a gribbly mofo down that way. Now I don't think... We didn't go down this way, did we? Uh, no. Oh, God, that's like another isolation-y broom thing. Really? Ah, fuck. Okay. I mean, at least she does seem really injured. I'll give them props for that. He really seems fucked up. These, is this a light? There's no light switch here, really. Another isolation ward. Let me guess. Enemy straight in our face. No? Wow. Actually surprised about that. Right here. No enemies right in our face? Yes, there is. It just, for some reason, didn't show up. Jesus, that was fucking dirty. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Go green first. Anything in green wing? That gribbly mofo. Yeah, we are actually hitting it, good. Put that son of a bitch right in his ass. <sighs> I'm not sure what I feel about this uh, first person mode. I mean, it's obviously got its uses, right? But... Uh, shotgun shells, I guess. I mean, sure. Like some health, though. Health kits? Anyone remember those? Uh, yep. Knew that was going to be rough. Ow. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Nothing in the shitter. Just another gribbly bastard. Alright. That, I really thought that was all over then. Oh, God. Okay. I just don't want to waste the um, assault rifle on these things, you know? Oh, that's going out the door. We don't want to go out the door. Do we want to go out the door? I don't know if we want to go out the door. We probably don't want to go out the door. Oh, okay. We're not going out the door. Oh, dear. We're not dead. Somehow. 
This room has a light switch. We have a we have batteries. You're giving us batteries. Right when we don't really need batteries anymore. Ah oh, yes. Thank you. Jesus. All this useless shit to give us. Oh. And we can't pick it up. Uh, is it still there? Yeah, it is. The inventory is full. Can't we just like have the option to just, I don't know, use it maybe? What can we throw away? Ugh. I guess we could throw away six rifle bullets. Probably. I mean, six rifle bullets isn't exactly a lot. We really need the health. Like, we seriously need the health. They really fucked you over in this game when it comes to inventory, actually. You kind of need all this inventory space. Because the item boxes are really, in a way, pointless. Alright. Yes, of course you're in there, dude. I think I was fucking born yesterday, mate. Right. Let's go. I think we pilfered this area for pretty much everything it's worth. Uh, now. I believe there was nothing in there, just some shotgun shells. Really? Just gonna spawn your ugly ass. Why are we reloading? We had full ammo. Right? Right? Did we not? I don't know anymore, to be honest. And that's one of those red guys. I thought they were the tough guys. Maybe not. I don't know. Enemy health seems to be like heavily randomized in this. Oh, hey friend. Can we like actually aim at him? Is that a thing that you can do? Are you capable of aiming at this guy? Jeez. Right. And I think down here is where we haven't been in either. Oh my god, why why was that so difficult? You know? Um, we are really running out of hang on bullets as well, but that's fine. I guess we can grab up the shotgun. So we can't go in there. What about this room? Nope. Oh yeah, we already tried that, didn't we? So I guess that's literally it. Oh, hey friend. Go fuck yourself. Oh, god damn it. Really? What? What's going on with the gun? I mean, admittedly, he couldn't really seem to hit us either. But... Oh. That looks like a light switch. Why is there so many batteries when you don't need them anymore? Like, they're literally just throwing batteries at us. So apparently we need to go upstairs. Okay. We can do that. I was going to say, it sounds like there's a gribbly bastard down there, but maybe not. I think he's through the door. Oh, that's a gorilla, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five bullets? 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, oh, come on. Oh. He can't go through doors. Well, isn't that an interesting little revelation? We're really almost out of uh, ammo. Okay, let's go save the game. Because this game's getting a little bit uh, shooty, shooty, bang, bang. E. That makes sense. Shut up. Turn the switch on. Oh. I can't actually see what we're shooting. That's all right. It's just a standard one. That's fine. And we've still got this key. Still got this key that we haven't managed to use. Do we use it in like, I don't know, the real realm? I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. We're just walking through this place, wasting people, which is fine. Okay, let's drop a save and then head upstairs. Ah, really uh, low on handgun bullets. I thought that um, our handgun was going to be like the thing that we fell back on big time. I thought, yeah, we're probably always going to have lots of ammo for that. I guess not. We don't have it. There's no item boxes here, Chief. No item boxes here, son. Just because it's a save room doesn't mean it has to have an item box in it. What are you? Simple? Okay, let's go back upstairs. I mean, I guess that one round of grenade ammo that we have left seems to be... Uh, I mean, it seems fairly obvious that I guess that's probably for the toilets. It just seems a bit suspect that you have one left. You know? Oh, hello. Uh, I'm here because he told me to help the guys on this floor. But what do I need to do? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure myself. Meg? Huh? Jack? Wait, what? How did you get here? This is inside that game, right? Probably. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck knows at this point? <laughs> fuck knows, Meg. To tell the truth, I just started the game and ended up here. Can it be? This game is networked? It looks like everybody that we come into contact with, then, is somebody else playing the game, but somehow because we're playing the game, we've all infected is there something we can defeat in the game to get cured oh, i don't in any case it's a little strange i sometimes can't tell which is reality really are you sure look down and see what color your suit is yeah i'm surprised myself in any case it's a strange game it doesn't feel like i'm controlling anything Berg! look out <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, get I mean, like are you even <laughs> are you even trying it the game's fucking given up guys. I've given up, the game's given up. What <laughs> it looks like he's he wants a fucking cookie or something. <laughs> he's oh bless him, look at him. You What? I can't this isn't true, Meg. Jack What? Did I miss something? Did Mr. Tickles just come up and give you his banana? What exactly is happening here? <sighs> oh god, here we go. Back in reality again. She's, I mean, she's in good spirits about it. She's happy as Larry. Are you awake? Chief, Dr. Jones! What did I? When I had our security guard, Lucino, I heard you ran away from him. No, he suddenly sold me. He uh, suddenly told me he was going to hold me down. And so, hold? I guess you could put it that way. All lab members are waiting in their rooms now. 
Right now, everyone in this facility is being tested for a particular virus. Testing for a virus? Yeah. We confirmed a virus that we think is the one that killed Robert. You confirmed the virus? Yes, Meg. Keep up. Yes, so we're having all lab members undergo blood tests. A blood test. Especially you, because you were close to Robert. We wanted to hurry up with your tests. But he didn't want to alarm the entire facility. So the chief was kind enough to send... Uh, okay, over to get us. That seemed to cause a misunderstanding. I'm sorry, but if you've figured out which virus... Can't you... Respond to it without cause. Oh, can't you respond to it without causing much panic and confusion? We're able to determine which virus, but we still don't know the infection method. There is no infection method. Perhaps there is no such thing as this virus. What? There is no infection method. What? A joke, of course. There has to have some method of infection, but we can't find it for this virus. Enough about the virus. There is no method of infection. Is it a curse? Meg, you've been mentioning computer programs and curses lately. And you call yourself a research scientist. Beef? Yeah, I know. In any case, we're done getting your blood sample. If you can walk, go back to your room and wait for the test results. Yes, but that virus. Meg, stay in your room. You're grounded, young lady. And you're not getting any dinner. Ah, uh, maybe a monkey banana, but you know. More of a light snack, I think. Alright, so we're confined to our room. And we're almost out of time. Uh, so Jack is also in the game. Which means he's probably infected. Uh, isn't there anything else in here? It's a shame we can't take some bullets from here and take them into the real world. I guess we should save it just in case something else actually happens. I can't believe we nearly died. Like, that's the closest we've come to actually almost dying. <laughs> Shit, son. Okay. I actually thought we were going to go down at one point, but... The enemies aren't, they're not too much of a threat, to be honest. Just, ugh, they just, they just, they just are, they just exist. In the most non-threatening way ever. Excuse me. What do you want? Are you here to hold me down again? <laughs> like, what is this? It's obviously very badly translated, translated, but it just sounds terrible. Gonna hold her down. Do what? Don't be so alarmed. I'm sorry about earlier. I realized I phrased it badly. Yet the whole game is phrased badly. It's all right now. You don't seem to be a bad guy either. So you came all the way here to apologize. No, that's not quite it. You actually have something I wanted to talk to you about. Something? What is it? I'm talking to you about this because you're Robert's girlfriend. Right? I wanted to talk to you about none other than the CDC. It's weird for me to talk to you about this, but I heard a lot about you from Robert. You were friends with Robert? Then, then, you could have said so much uh, you could have said so much earlier i mean you told the chief about the conference room tell the chief you've got to be kidding that place is always watched over by the chief i warned you because i'm sure you went in not knowing that oh so he here we go here's the big reveal he's a nice guy that's trying to look after us but i can't say as much there that's why I ended up that way. Always watching over. It's tapped. He's doing such a thing? Probably. Anyway, Robert started to investigate the underground. And he made it to the reference room. Then the basement. I got worried because you were doing the same thing. So I came here. Ah, I see. 
<laughs> Robert did see it then. Yeah. And he started frequenting the basement of this place. He started saying that there's something about this lab. He also said that there were patients underground and that there was a room beyond them. But he never made it to that back room. And we tried to find a way to go to the back room. Yeah, that's right. There has to be something back there. <clears throat> Only if there was a way back there. Only if there is a way. Huh? It's what we talked about when I last saw Robert. If we drop the electricity of the entire lab, we can disable all the security items. Therefore, you can go back there. That's a rather harsh method. But are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. I am the security chief after all. I checked the manual. <laughs> Check the manual to make sure. However, there is one condition. Three minutes after the power goes out, some of the lights and the security systems come back up. In three minutes? Then it's no good unless you can go you can get back there within three minutes of dropping all power. That's right. If you're still going to go, I'll drop the power. There's only one chance. If we fail and the chief finds out, I'm sure we Of course I'm going to go. It's okay, I can drop the power as well. Drop the power, don't be stupid. You can't even get yourself safely out of this room. And if someone was around, he would raise suspicion. Don't worry about the power. But then I would cause you. Don't give me that. Robert. Robert died. Do you think I'm not regretting his death? I'm regretting it too. I want to go through what he was... I want to go through what he was investigating until the end. If I was smarter, I would have done it myself. Sorry. You're right. But the chief raises his suspicions. And you'll be in trouble too. I'll get the power. Enough already. I will drop the power. Just one of you do it, for fuck's sake. That's my condition for going through with this plan. In any case, you can't leave this room. I'll drop the power tonight. If the power drops, the building will be pitch black. Here's a battery. Don't be so one-sided. No questions asked. So are you going to do it or not? All right, that's fine. All right. Until then, sit tight in this room. Start tonight in three hours. It looks like you have a flashlight. You'll be able to use it with the battery. Everything else, I'm counting on you. Oh, wait. What is it? Um, thanks. Be careful. Stop it. I'm doing it for Robert and for myself. And I have a girlfriend named Kathy. <laughs> and I'm doing it for my dog, too. And my cat. Uh, I can't do anything too drastic. Kathy? See... So that was it. You guys are a great couple. I'm. How do you know? You don't. Oh Jesus Christ! I want to put my head through this monitor. I I wouldn't because I love my monitor. But you get what I'm going at. I'm counting on you for her sake too. Yeah, I know. I'm going to explain to Kathy now. So I'm counting on you. So Kathy. Ah, so that's why she was sticking up for him in a very awful way. Well, that was a huge plot dump. Literally a huge plot dump of diarrhea all over us. Ugh. So we are getting to the meat and potatoes of this slowly. Ugh. So when we come back, I guess we're going to be dropping the power. Um, and we're dropping the power. I guess we're going to sneak into the back room. And... Stuff's gonna happen in the back room, I guess. Good stuff. Is there multiple endings to this? I'm getting that kind of vibe. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure I care either, to be honest. If there are multiple endings, uh, I'll, I'll see what the requirements are for them once we complete the game. Um, but anyway, guys, till then, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this absolute slurry as much as i am yeah till then guys thanks for watching